welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video as you can tell from the title i'm going to be getting my makeup done fully glam i do not know how to do makeup so i never really wear like cool makeup or anything but my cousin Kristen knows how to do makeup so she's going to be doing my makeup and putting the eyelashes and everything so i'm really curious to see what it's going to look like so if you guys want to see me with a full face of glam makeup then keep watching before I get started into this video, I want to thank Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video. If you've never heard of Function of Beauty, it's basically just customizable hair care. It's super easy to customize. It literally takes two minutes. So this is what the quiz looks like on the website. It's super easy. You just pick your hair type, the structure, and the moisture, depending if your hair is dry or oily. Next, you're going to pick your hair goals. They have so many different things to pick from, as you can see. If you want to deep condition your hair, lengthen your hair, if you have color in your hair that you're trying to protect. So I did pick five of these. And then next, you pick the fragrance. They have a lot of different really good fragrances to pick from. And then you can customize the name. So I did pick Tina for mine. So mine says Function of Tina. And then lastly, I'm picking the color that I want my shampoo and conditioner to be. As you can see, they have a lot of really cute colors to pick from. And the shampoo and conditioner is completely customized now to your hair. Another really cool thing about Function of Beauty is that there are no parabens, no sulfates, no toxins, and no GMOs. It's also 100% vegan and cruelty-free. And literally, it's made out of 100% recycled plastic. I don't know if you can see but it says 100% recycled plastic so these are just like really good for the earth as well I really like this brand because when you go out and buy like regular shampoo and conditioner you're just buying the basic bottle that everyone has but we all have different hair some people have curlier hair straighter hair some people dye their hair a lot so I feel like it's important to have a shampoo and conditioner that's custom to your hair because like I said everyone's hair is different so these are the ones that I picked out and it actually says function of tina if you can see i picked this purple color because i clearly really like this color my nails match it and my shirt and the scent that i picked was cherry and it smells so freaking good and then the shampoo that i picked is this pink color so when i was picking i recently cut my hair like a couple months back and i want it to grow again because my hair was super super damaged i know you guys remember i had really long hair and the third product that i picked is the leave-in treatment so this is perfect for like when you get out of the shower you just put it on your hair when it's damp and then you can just leave it in and it's going to help your hair another really great thing about function of beauty is you can also sign up for monthly subscriptions so you can either pick two months three months or six months and it's super easy to cancel at any time if you don't want them anymore or if you want to change up your formula like maybe for like the first couple months you want to do like one that's going to repair and then the next month you want to change it to like a lengthening one so if you want to pamper de-stress and take care of your hair i would definitely recommend function of beauty just because you can literally make it specifically to your hair type if you guys do want to try function of beauty you can follow my link down below and you will get 20 percent off your first order you guys my skin looks real busted so just ignore it let me ask you a question okay um what is your name and age um my name is kristen i'm 21. hopefully she can contour my nose so it doesn't look like someone messed it up it doesn't look that bad right now yeah it doesn't look bad if i look straight on it's just when i go any other side that's when it looks a little funky your foundation so it doesn't move and your concealer one time i got my makeup done by this girl who does makeup really really good and she always has her makeup on point so she said she wanted to try doing my makeup and she did it and i feel like it looked so weird but she did a really good job but i just felt like since i don't wear makeup and just seeing myself like that i got scared i was like oh no 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 like but she put some big ass eyelashes on me and she like did a lot so i was just like Ooh, this is a little crazy so i'm wondering if i'm gonna like it but when i see it on you i think it looks so pretty like your face right now it looks good it i feel like look... you're just not used to seeing yourself like that yeah i just feel like i look weird like i don't know and then i don't like my freaking nose right now and 
so yeah and then i feel like in high school when i learned to like do makeup i really just learned how to cover up my pimples because i had really bad acne so i wasn't doing makeup to like look cute or be artsy i was literally doing it to just cover up my acne so i feel like that's all i really ever learned how to do was put concealer all over my face and then put powder on top of it because that's all i literally did i wish i could do lashes though that's the one thing i think is so pretty like everyone always tells me i should get eyelash extensions but i'm allergic to them like my eyes be getting fucked up like they get so poofy and like i don't know what it is if i'm allergic to like the glue or the lashes and i even went to this one place that is supposed to be like hyper allergenic or allergenic i don't know the word <laughs> but you know like for sensitive eyes and my eyes still got all poofy so i would like to learn how to do the strips i'm using the hoover bronzer to contour especially at the club i wish i knew how to do makeup because i feel like when you do like how you have the little stones right now in your eyes mm -hmm. you should show them your face because it looks so good your makeup i love her eyes and her hair and the little diamonds like, i feel like in the club like that looks like really cool or like some girls wear like the long ass eyelashes but mm -hmm. when you're in the like club lights i feel like they look normal yeah because like it's so dark in there and i know me since i don't wear lashes i probably look like they're just like what the fuck this bitch just got eyes <laughs> like she don't got no type of lash no <laughs> Tart, um, risque blush. Oh, you guys, okay, she's fixing my nose job right now. But you know that she got her boobs done by Dr. Schifrin, the guy who did my nose, and he messed up her titty. Yeah, he fucked me up, like, really bad. I just felt bad because, okay, obviously I got my butt done by him as soon as I got out of high school. And then, like, a year later, I went and got my boobs done by him. And he did a really good job on my breasts. So, obviously, I told her, like, oh, go to him because we're, like, the same size. And mine came out good. So, I was, like, go to him. Mm -hmm. So, she went to him, like, a year later. And he messed hers up so bad. Like, she just got them redone yeah. for a second time. So, my now... My boobs were, like, far apart from each other. Like, under my armpits, almost. Yeah, they were. And I don't know. When I went to tell him, like, what is this? He was like, <laughs> he basically said like, oh, I could just fix it for you if you just pay another like 2000 But yeah, basically I felt bad because obviously I recommended him because mine came out good and then hers didn't. So I mean, I know everybody is different. Like everybody's body is different. Like if everyone in the world got the same size implants, they're going to look different on every girl. But I just feel like it's because she has like a big, what, like your middle my, part is big. But my I feel like chest she, wall, I don't know. It's like wide, yeah, but I feel like he should have known that because you're a doctor, like that's mm -hmm. your job to know. Yeah. I don't know, but. And even like this side of my nose, when you touch it with the brush, it feels weird. Like it, like I get like a tingling sensation. There's like a bone sticking out. Yeah, when I, if you, well, obviously you guys can't feel my nose, but if you were to like feel down this side of my nose, I literally have like a little bone that like sticks out. It's so weird. Becca champagne pop for highlight. It's all shattered. Um, I'm gonna use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in 4.5. with the Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, I'm gonna use the Modern Renaissance palette on her eyes. I'm going into a Love Letter.
feels so weird with the lashes on. Like there's a spider up there. I'm just gonna put some brow gel on. It's a cute little brow. Little crease. When you say like, you know how people say like, oh, you put this so that it doesn't move. Mm -hmm. I just imagine like the makeup getting up and like walking away. Like <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put some eyeliner just to cover up the lash band. her lips with the NYX lip pencil. And then I'm just going to use the Buxom lip gloss to top it off. Lastly, I'm just going to add these jewels from Michaels in the inner corner. I'm just using some lash adhesive to let it stick. Okay, you guys, this is the final look. Um, it is a little bit weird seeing myself like this just because you guys know I never wear makeup, but I think it looks really cute. My favorite part is like the little diamonds in the corner. Super cute. And the lashes feel a little bit weird, but I think I'm getting used to them. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Oh my God, this is probably so weird for you guys to look at me like this because it's weird for me to look at myself like this. But I'm going to be leaving my cousin's Instagram down below if you guys want to check her out. Also, I'll be leaving her beauty page down below as well so you can see her makeup looks. Shout out to her for doing my makeup. It looks super cute. But I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.